Hello students. Today we are going to the next section. Functions. The topic functions is the most essential part of modern mathematics. If you are dealing with either physics, chemistry or even social sciences, you have to go through a lot of functions. Let us take a simple example from physics. Consider this curve moving with a uniform acceleration for some time. Here we can associate two quantities with the movement of this car. One is time and the other is position. Let after one hour, let after one hour, the car has reached 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers away from the starting point. After two hours, let the car has reached, the car has traveled 40 kilometers away from the starting point. After two hours, let the car has traveled 40 kilometers away from the starting point. Thus, we are connecting two quantities, time, time with position, time with position. Note that at each time, the car takes a unique position or we can say position is a function of time. At each time, the car takes a unique position or we can say the position is a function of time. We write position P equals a function of time, F of T, P equal to function of time. If we denote this process in a graph, in a position time graph, you have studied position time graphs in first year physics. Time in the x-axis and position in the y-axis. Time in the x-axis and position in the y-axis. The graph drawn will be a parabola like this. This is the graph of the function p equal to f of t. Let us take another example from economics. It is the price movement of a stock in a particular day. Bolura had bought 1000 shares of ITC at 200 rupees. By the evening, the price moved to 210 rupees. He got 10,000 rupees profit in a single day. See, the price movement is a function of time since at each time, the stock, the share takes particular values, random values. Now let us go to the formal definition of a function. A function, a relation defined from set A to set B is said to be a function if every element in A has one and only one image in B. You remember? Recall what you studied in the last year. If every element in A, a relation from set A to set to B is said to be a function if every element in A has one and only one image in B. Is this relation a function? The first figure does not represent a function. Why? Here, the element 4 has no image in B. The second figure also does not represent a function. Why? There are two reasons. First of all, 3 has no image in B. And 
Moreover, the element 2 in A has two images in B. That is not allowed for a function. Because, uh, just recall, the position time graph we drawn for the movement of that car. A car cannot take two positions at the same time. At the same time, the car cannot take two positions. Therefore, this is a similar case and the second relation is not a function. And is it a function? It is a function because each element has one and only one image in B. Each element in A has one and only one image in B. But you might have a doubt. The elements 2 and 4 have the same elements, the same images in B. Then can it become a function? Of course it can become a function. Because let us consider the sensex graph we discussed directly. The sensex graph we discussed early. At two times, say at 9.30 am and at 2.30 pm, the share can take, the share can take the same values, to not five say, the share can take the same values, to not five rupees. Therefore, it is similar, this case is similar to that problem. At 2 and at 4, it can take the same values B. Therefore, it is also a function. Similarly, it is also a function. Here, the elements 1, 2, 3 and 4 in A has the same image A, small letter A, in B. Thus, the definition of a function is that a relation from A to B is said to be a function if every element in the set A has one and only one image in B. One and only one image in B. A magician gave me this machine. If we put something in this machine, the machine will multiply it in such a way that first the machine doubles it and then 3 is added to it. First the machine doubles it and then 3 is added to it. If I put a board, a board into machine, into this machine, if I put a board into this machine, the board will give me, the machine will give me how many balls in return? First it doubles each, that is 1 into 2, 2. Then 3 is added to each. That is 2 plus 3, 5. I will get 5 balls. This machine gives me 5 balls in return. This is a magic machine. See, I can put anything I like into this machine. If I put an elephant into this machine, if I put an elephant into this machine, see, I am putting an elephant into this machine. The machine will give me back, I am putting an elephant into this machine. The machine will give me by five similar elephants. And if I put 
two pencils two pencils into this machine the machine will if i put two pencils into this machine the machine will give me back how many pencils first it is doubled two into two four plus three that is the machine will give me back seven pencils thus if i put one into this machine one into this machine the machine will multiply it into 1 into 2 doubles it plus 3 is added that equal to 5 and if I put 2 into this machine I will get 2 into 2 plus 3 equal to 7 if I put 3 into this machine I will get 2 into 3 plus 3 equal to 9 and what if I put x into this machine I will get 2 into x plus 3 equal to 2x plus 3 and it is the function of the machine see x becomes 2x plus 3 the function of the machine is that x is turned into 2x plus 3 that is f of x in mathematical language f of x equal to 2x plus 3 3 that is x has become 2x plus 3 plus the function of the machine is that if we put x into it that is if x is the input let me get y as the output then y equal to 2x plus 3 y equal to 2x plus 3 or the function of the machine in function language is f of x equal to 2x plus 3. When f of x equal to 2x plus 3, you know that f of 1 equal to 2 into 1 plus 3 equal to 5 when x equal to 2 we have f of 2 equal to 2 into 2 plus 3 equal to 7 and when x equal to 3 f of 3 equal to 2 into 3 2 into x equal to 3 2 into 3 plus 3 equal to 9. Thus, we have summarized the function of the machine in mathematical language as f of x equal to 2x plus 3. The main use of mathematics is that anything can be explained shortly in a language called mathematical language. Now let us represent the data in an arrow diagram. The input and it is a function, let it be a function defined from the set of all natural numbers to the set of all natural numbers. The domain of the function is 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And the range and the codomain of the function is also 1, 2, set of natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, etc. Let us use an arrow diagram.
here one is related to one is related to five when one is the input five is the output therefore one is related to five one is related to five and two is related to seven when two is the input seven is the output two is related to seven and three is related to nine let us write eight and nine also three is related to nine when three is the input nine is the output three is related to nine and similarly four is related to thus it is clearly a function because every element in the first set has its own image in the second set when the input is 1 the output is 5 let us find a reverse relation that is when the input is 1 the output is 5 if the output is 5 what is the input when the output is 5 then the input is 1 when the input is 2 the output is 7 and in the reverse order when the output is 7 the input is 2 and similarly when the input is 3 the output is 9 and when the output is 9 then the input is 3 we have f of x equal to 2x plus 3 or y equal to 2x plus 3 y equal to 2x plus 3 if we put any value for x we will get the value of the output y and we are making a reverse relation can we find x from this yes we have 2x equal to y minus 3 2x equal to y minus 3 or x equal to y minus 3 divided by 2 y minus 3 divided by 2 that is when the output is 9, we put y equal to 9. If y equal to 9, then the input is given by x equal to 9 minus 3 divided by 2. That equal to 6 by 2 equal to 3. That is, when the output is 9, we found the relation to get the, we found the formula for getting the input when the output is 9 the input is 9 minus 3 divided by 2 equal to 3 when the output is 9 the input is 3 thus we have found the reverse relation the original relation is that y equal to 2x plus 3 and the reverse relation is that x equal to y minus 3 by 2 the original relation gives the value of the output when input is known and the reverse relation gives the value of the input when the output is known. Now, the next question is that what will be the input if the output is 3? What will be the input if the output is 3? For this, we have to put, we have x equal to y minus 3, x equal to y minus 3, divided by 2 when the output is when the output is 3 we get we have to substitute 3 for y when the output is 3 3 minus 3 divided by 2 that is x equal to 0 but x equal to 0 is not a natural number and we cannot find we cannot find the input when the output is 3. Thus, the reverse relation exists if and only if some conditions are satisfied. See, the reverse relation exists if and only if some the reverse relation exists 
if and only if some conditions are satisfied. Uh, we are also sure that when y equal to 8, we cannot find uh, the input. When y equal to 8, what happens? x equal to, when y equal to 8, x equal to 8 minus 3 divided by 2, that equal to 5 by 2 equal to 2.5. When y equal to 8, x equal to 2.5 when the value of y is 8 when the value of y is 8 the value of x is 2.5 and 2.5 is also not a natural number thus the reverse relation exists if and only if some conditions are satisfied we are going to check or we are going to find the conditions for the inverse relation axis. Thus we are moving to the main part of our chapter or topic. The 1 1 function and the on 2 function. The 1 1 function and the on 2 function. The first function f1. It is a function and f1 is a 1 1 function because each one is related to only one. That is, the second element in the set has only one pre-image in the first set. See, while F2 is not 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, as the name indicates, 1, 2, 1, 1 related to 1. But F2 is not a 1, 1 function because here the element B in the second set has two pre-images in the first set. Element B in the second set has two pre-images 2 and 3 in the second set. Therefore, F2 is not 1, 1. I think you got the point. F1 is 1, 1 uh, while F2 is not 1, 1. F3 is also not 1, 1. Why? F3 is not 1, 1 because the element B here has two pre-images 2 and 4 in the first set. Therefore, F3 is not 1, 1. What about the function, last function F? It is clearly 1, 1. 1 is related only to 1. Therefore, the function is clearly 1, 1. If the function is not 1, 1, it is called a many 1 function. Here, F2 is a many 1 function. B has two pre-images. And F3 is a many 1 function. While F1 and F are 1 1 functions. 1 1 function is also called an injective function. The next one is an on to function or surjective function. On to function. It is not an on to function. Because the element D in the second set has no pre-image in the first set. Therefore, the function f1 is not an onto function. Therefore, the function is an onto function if every element in the second set has a pre-image in the first set. It is not an onto function. It is also not an onto function why the element is c the element C in the second set has no pre-image in the first set. Therefore, F2 is also not an onto function. Is F3 an onto function? Yes, F3 is an onto function because every element in the second set has a pre-image in the first set. Is the last function F an onto function? Yes, it is also an onto function because every element in the second set has a pre-image in the first set. If the function is not onto, it is called an into function. It is called an into function. Here, here, f1 is not an onto function. It is an into function. f2 is also not an onto function. It is an into function. It is an onto function and the last function is also an onto function. And look at the last function f denoted by f. 
it is clearly 1, 1 and 1, 2. 1, 1 because every element is related uh, to one element. Therefore, it is a 1, 1 function and it is an 1, 2 function because uh, no element in the second set has, um, there exists no element in the second set such that it has not a preimage. Therefore, it is an on to function. The function is 1, 1, both 1, 1 and on to. Such functions are called bijective functions. A function is said to be a bijective function. The third one, 3, bijective function. Bijective function. A function is said to be a bijective function if it is both 1, 1, 1, 1 and and on to. If the function is both 1, 1 and on to, it is called a bijective function. The importance of a bijective function is that we can find a reverse relationship. See, it is a bijective function. The fourth function is a bijective function since it is both 1, 1 and 1, 2. The importance of a bijective function is that if there exists a function from A to B, we can find a reverse function from B to A. We can find a reverse function from B to A. Thus, there are, we have to study about the three types of functions. First one is 1-1 one, one function or injective function. Second one is on to function or surjective function. And the third one is bijective function which is both 1-1 one, one and on to. And the importance of a bijective function is that if there is a function exists from A to B, then we can find a reverse function from B to A. Let us go to a problem. The question is that, show that the function f defined from n to n, set of natural numbers to set of natural numbers, given by f of x equal to 2x is not an own to function. The relation is that f of x equal to 2x, one is clearly one is related to 2. 1 is related to 2. 2 is related to 4. The element 2 is related to 4. The element 3 is related to 6. Element 3 is related to 6. The, the error diagram shows that the function is not on to. Because the elements in the second set 1, 3, the odd, the odd numbers, odd natural numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. have no pre-images in the first set. Therefore, the function is not an onto function. That is, the range, the range not equal to, the range is 2, 4, 6, etc. Range of the function is 2, 4, 6, etc. is not equal to the second set itself. Therefore, the function is not an on-to function. Once more, the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. in the second set have no pre-images in the first set. Therefore, the function is not on-to. But clearly, the function is 1, 1. See, 1 is mapped to 1. 1 is the image of 1 is 2, the image of 2 is 4, image of 3 is 6. Uh, the element in the, the elements in the second set have distinct pre-images in the first set. Therefore, the relation, the function is clearly 1-1, one, one, but it is not on to. Now to the next problem. Show that the function f defined from R to R, set of real numbers to set of real numbers, defined as f of x equal to x squared is neither 1, 1 nor on 2. It is not 1, 1 and not on 2. f of x equal to x square. f of x equal to x square. What is f of 1? 
the image of 1, f of 1 is 1 square that equal to 1. And what is f of minus 1? f of minus 1 is minus 1 square equal to 1. See, the function is defined from real numbers to real numbers. Therefore, the numbers 1 and minus 1 have the are related to the same number 1. The image of 1 is 1 and the image of minus 1 is also 1. Therefore, the function is not 1, 1. And we have to prove that the function is not on to. The function becomes the function defined from real numbers to real numbers. Real numbers to real numbers. The function becomes on to. The function f defined from R2 or real numbers to real numbers. It becomes on to if some elements in the second set 0 positive numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 1.5, 1.7 and negative numbers minus 1, minus 2, etc. And here also 1, 2, 2.5, 1 1.3, minus 1, minus 2. All are real numbers. And we know that, we have proved that the image of 1 is 1 and the image of minus 1 is 1. Therefore, the function is not 1, 2. Therefore, the function is not 1, 1. To prove that the function is not on 2, we know that the function is defined as f of x equal to x square. That is, real numbers are squared. Here, if we take the square of a number, we will not get negative numbers as answer. If we take the square of any number, we will get only 0 or positive numbers. We will not get negative numbers. That means the negative numbers like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3.5, etc. have no pre-images in the first set. Therefore, clearly the function is not on to. Thus, the function is neither 1, 1 nor on to. Now let us give a graphical interpretation of the problem. The function is f of x equal to f of x equal to x square or y equal to x square. We can say y equal to x square and you have drawn the graph of this function, the graph of this function, y equal to x square, last year. It is a parabola. The graph of the function is a parabola. It was drawn by giving some values to 4x and y. When x is 0, y equal to 0 square 0. When x is 1, y equal to 1 square 1. And 2, x equal to 2 square 4. And if it is minus 1, minus 1 square 1, minus 2, the y value is minus 2 square 4, etc. And we have drawn the graph of the function as a parabola. Here, we have the image of, when x equal to 1, the value of y is 1 square 1. And also when x equal to minus 1, when x equal to minus 1, the value of y minus 1 square that is 1. Therefore, the function is not clearly 1. The 1 and the numbers 1 and minus 1 have the same y value 1. The function is not 1. There is a graphical test to check whether the given function is 1, 1 or not. It is that if we draw a line parallel to the x-axis. If we draw a line parallel to the x-axis and if it cuts 
the graph at more than one point and if the line cuts the graph more than at more than one point the function is not 1 1 for example let this point is 2 the value of the y value of 2 is 2 square 4 and uh, let this point is minus 2 the y value of minus 2 is also minus 2 square 4 therefore 2 and minus 2 have the same y value thus parallel line test helps us to check whether the function is 1 1 or not i think you have got the point to check whether whether a function is 1 1 we have to draw the graph of the function it is a parabola here if we draw a line anywhere anywhere if we draw a line parallel to the x-axis and if it cuts at more than one point it is not a one one function now the section types of functions is completed i think you have got a clear idea if not please go through the chapter again and thank you Thank you.